In this Bubble tutorial video, we'll be demonstrating the amazing component library by No Codable Bubble Components. It's as really is as simple as signing up and installing a Chrome extension, and then you get access to a vast library of components. And we'll be demonstrating in this video how you can create a landing page in less than 10 seconds that looks amazing. Let's dive in. Let's get started with a simple landing page. So we're going to go into no codable components and we'll grab a hero section. Uh, oh, let's take this one because it's got a nice gradient. So I simply click copy and then I make sure that the page that I'm wanting to copy into uh, is not fixed, either row or column. I'm going to go for column in this instance and then all I do is right click and click paste. Just note here that there are slightly varied ways of copying and pasting in bubble, keyboard shortcuts, right clicks. Different ones are more reliable in different situations. For this, just the right click is going to make it work. And there we go, we've got it instantly. Uh, I would now like to add in a header. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, this looks nice. So I'm going to copy this component. Um, and then it's giving me a warning that I need to copy it with workflows. Okay, I think that's because it's got uh, sort of group focuses, drop down menus. So I'm going to say, oh, I understand this. Um, and so uh, I would now go onto my page and then I'm right clicking on the page because I don't want to nest it inside the hero section. I want it to be on the same level as the hero section. So I'm right clicking on the page uh, and then I'm going to say paste special paste with workflows. Uh, cool, right, okay, it's also got a mobile menu. How cool is that? Uh, so let's hide the mobile menu and uh, we'll immediately test this um, and because it's already looking pretty good. Let's see what we've just built because it's only taken us a few seconds. Uh, so we've got a nice hero section and look, there's some uh, nice hover animations. Look, these are all, th look, hover animation on that button too. These are all things which if you were doing it yourself, kind of copying from a Figma UI kit as I've done in the past, you know, you're spending minutes on the button just to get it to behave like that with the hover effect and this nice uh, border effect on the subheading up here. So the fact that it's taken us less time to copy and paste in two components compared to uh, just styling a button to perfection uh, just goes to show how helpful uh, no codable components are. Let's go ahead and add in another section. Let's see what else they've got. Let's give a real tour. Uh, so we've got dashboards. I'm going to cover that in a moment. Oh, we've got landing pages. In fact, we can basically, we can do a whole we can do a whole landing page. Oh wow! Um, let's take let's take uh, this one because it's got a nice box demonstration at the bottom. So I'm actually going to delete what I've got so far, um, and uh, I'll paste with workflows just in case it has got workflows. Nope, that was the previous one. There we go. That's what I mean about uh, using copy and paste, paste. Oh, it wants a whole new page. Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, so we'll call this uh, landing page and click create wow there we go let's head straight over to the preview and see that look at that oh it looks it looks good and look it's got the workflows in maybe uh using some sort of custom state to show hide or just show hide workflows but i mean come on that took 10 seconds to paste in uh, and then it, of course it would be dead easy to edit and also I'm told that it's fully responsive so let's go into the responsive uh, preview and put it through its paces look we've got a nice mobile menu again you could spend 10 minutes building a good looking mobile menu uh, to ensure that it looks good uh, and yet here we go it's just included in there in this beautiful responsive design and I picked this one because uh, we're working on an internal project at the moment which is going to be our own learning environment powered by AI. We've got almost 500 bubble tutorial videos and uh, we've got transcripts on each of them. Uh, we've applied an AI to them. We've indexed all of that data and you'll be able to query them very soon and basically ask questions of our content. And so I really like this design where you can see like an app preview before. That's why I've picked it. Uh, right, I'm probably going to round off this video here, but I'm going to record a follow-up uh, where we look at more of the dashboard components because, to be honest, that's the thing that I find takes the most time in Bubble is to make the, the inside of your app, your user areas of your app look amazing, and I think it's going to be no problem with the no-codable components.